Hey. Hey. You. You doing alright today? <laughs> so, got a Deathslinger game. It was a pretty fun game. Some pretty decent teammates. It's kind of been weird, honestly, since the update. I've almost felt like... Not like the skill level has gone down with teammates, but it almost feels like that, but I really don't know quite how to describe it. So, I don't know if you guys are experiencing the same thing. If you are, maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But, without further ado, check it out. Tell me what you guys think. And please, stay active. Peace out. Alright, so, just a quick little tidbit. If you saw, I did that body block. I genuinely try and go for the left side of the killer so looking at them it would be my right hand side and i just for the most part i have decent luck with actually avoiding their hits so but as you can see in the beginning went ahead and got a hex totem out of the way not sure quite what it was but we do know that he has retribution because we were oblivious while that was happening thankfully we have a teammate it was able to help us out and they body blocked just in case he came over there so it wouldn't like take the hit you know they could take the hit and possibly end up finishing the totem so running object windows um prove thyself jesus had a moment there and balance landing so just kind of been fooling around with some different ones like i said i've been getting away from the exhaustion perks i've been trying them here and there just to really see like what it's all about what i think you know because i mean honestly for the longest i really just used dead hard so i don't know that's kind of how i was looking at it i guess i've just been trying different little things and going from there but obviously been on some gen play got a couple gens out of the way he's got two hooks and i have now grabbed me man's attention you can see i uh, got a good little miss shot at the bottom down there and he's chasing so we're gonna grab this little infinite box right here and I was thinking of a way to really describe what's this, you know, the infinite. You know, everybody hears infinite, infinite, infinite. Okay, so like in the basic concept, just think about it like this. If I run at 4 meters a second and he runs at 4.4 .4 meters a second, then that means it's a little bit less than half a meter in one second that he will travel more than I will. So if in you can think in a spot like that, if in an entire second, one one thousand, you can take a loop that is a half of meter less than what they are taking, you will infinitely run that spot. And that's kind of the same concept. Because if you can, even if you feel like going back and watching, you can see where he was kind of not running a super tight loop or I was running a very tight loop. So, but jumping on in, went ahead and got smacked down because I, I was trying and you can even see later I tried so hard to mind game the pallets and it literally got me hit pretty much every time I got hit so he's gonna grab that I'm not gonna do anything with the chain because I know he can't make it down here so it may sound silly but even three seconds is three seconds more in the game that you have that you are keeping that killer occupied and some people just don't seem to understand that, but it really makes a difference. Seconds make minutes. So, obviously, still got a little music. Pretty sure he's still chasing me. I've obviously been hit, and I am now into wound, where he got the shot when I was dropping down, so. And I'll tell you what, that is now the second time that my man has worked me for the object that I assume he like I'm like committing one way and kind of go the other and it's just not quite going my way but it's cool take a dumb down it's our first one we actually ran him for quite a while kept him busy and let everybody kind of reset because he was kind of he was getting them pretty quickly so it definitely worked out um, right here just to kind of explain what I was trying to do there I have proved myself I have a med kit it was more efficient for them to work on the gen under my proof myself than it was for them to heal me and then we all work on the gen in my opinion truthfully i'm not actually 1000 percent positive that prove thyself actually activates if you're not on the gen but it did highlight when i was like in the radius the four meter radius of other people so i assume it did but i wasn't working on the gen so i couldn't actually see its progress to really know but i'm trying to just stay local because that girl that got the heal off on me is still in there 
So I'm really just trying to see because I'm pretty sure that they're going to hit trying to get out. I just want to stay here so I can block the doorway or take a hit or just do anything for them. Because like that right there, that's that's a death. That is most definitely a death right there. You, Especially with the way that they recover now in like 1.8 seconds or whatever it is. You are going to die if you are not running away from them when they hit you. It is inevitable. So, same concept. You as a teammate need to be able to visually see those opportunities and take them when you can. So, same right there. I was kind of trying to indicate to her, like, let's go to the boon and heal. You know, it's all about efficiency. Let's take the extra four steps to go over to the boon so we can heal. So, right now, I'm just trying to get involved. Chances are he's going to do his best to tunnel one of them, and I wanted to give him a free hit. And this is what I was talking about earlier, my other dumbass thing, when literally even after the fault, the point that I went, I literally could have vaulted. But, you know what they say, dumb mistakes, it's cool. It is cool. So we're going to slide on down. You see she's chasing. I think she tries, but it doesn't quite go the way she wants. So that's kind of an unnecessary hit to take. You don't really want to be taking those hits. You know, it, it just makes the end game a little bit harder because then in that sense now it makes T deck or whatever the name is come over here and unhook me when they're on their second stage now unfortunately T deck did not make it out T deck died saving me unfortunately there was not much I could do but I thought this was kinda of funny it just cracked me up just a quick little smile after the game so just a little bit of troll action, you know. No tea bags, just the friendly trolls. But peace out, everybody. Thank you.